All right, we're on to example two. And I, I do want to remind you that simple interest is also known as what's called flat rate interest. So quite often questions will talk about flat rate interest and you need to know it's the same thing. So in this case, Joan has a credit card bill as shown in the table below. And the bank charges interest at a rate of 5% per annum. It asks, it says, if the bank charges interest on the maximum negative monthly balance, calculate the interest charged at the end of the month of April. So if we have a look at this credit card bill, which I made up, it's not the greatest bill, you'll notice you've got your totals over here and they're all negatives because it's a, it's a, it's like a, a bill. It's money that Joan owes, right? And they charge, and of course, banks want to make the most money out of you. So when they charge interest, they want to charge it on the highest bill during the month. So they're going to charge it on the negative $5,200. They're going to charge you interest on that one because they can make the most money out of you, right? Um, when you look at the bill, you'll notice these things called credit and debit. And basically, these are times, uh, a credit is a time when you actually put money into the bill. So you can see they owed 3450 They put this much in there and all of a sudden the bill went down. But then down in the 8th of April, they spent $3,200 on a car and then the bill got really big again. Okay, And this is the number we're going to use to calculate the interest. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're going to use our formula I equals PRN, but we need to find PR and N. So our principal is going to be the money, the maximum amount they owed, which is the 5200 it's not necessarily necessary to put a negative in it. Now our interest rate was 5% and we've got to do a couple of changes here. First of all, interest is being charged monthly here. They're getting charged at the end of the month and the 5% interest rate, this is, this is a yearly interest rate. So we need to convert this, convert it to monthly. And the way we're going to do that is quite simple. You just take your yearly interest rate and you divide it by 12. So R is 5% divided by 12. And it's probably going to give us a nasty decimal. Yeah, it's not a very nice decimal. And, and when that happens, I just go, all right, if, I, if I'm not going to get a nice decimal, I'm going to just leave it as a fraction. 5% divide 12, we'll leave it as 5 over 12%. And that's our now our monthly interest um, but we also know that not only do we need to convert it to monthly interest but we've got to divide it by 100 we always take our percentage and divide it by 100 and what i would suggest doing is doing it on your calculator write 5, five over 12 divide 100 and you'll find it'll your calculator will give you a new fraction which I got as 1 over 240. It's actually really important when you do this to keep it as a fraction rather than the nasty decimal that it will become. All right, so I know that's quite a bit of working, but basically all we did is we divided it by 12 and then we divided it by 100 and then we put our solution as a fraction, not a decimal. All right, now N is the number of time periods, which is just one month. All right, because we're just doing it at the end of the month. All right, let's use our formula. I equals P times R times N, which is 5200 times R, 1 over 240, times N, which is 1. Let's see what we get. And if I round it, I'll get $21.67. So at the end of the month of April, that's how much money the, the bank's going to charge you in interest.